Health EU's Services Citizen Journalism Project, Our Health, has grown from strength to strength since its launch in 2012, starting with just 10 activists who Health E trained to be journalists in their rural communities. The project now boasts a staff of 22 citizen journalists spread across the country, representing each province and providing a national picture of the state of public health in South Africa. Together they produce over 50 stories each month, highlighting key issues affecting the health of people in their communities. For the first time I could be a voice. That is what made me join this uh, wonderful move. It made me feel like an activist that I've always wanted to be. How important is my work as a citizen journalist? That my position is to shape up the policies so that people will have a better living. I think it is a very crucial role because we are therefore have a chance to be able to expose the you know, the challenges that our communities at a grassroots level are facing. For the first time I could be that bridge between the health system and my fellow community members. The launch of Our Health coincided with the rollout of the National Health Insurance Plan, which aims to revolutionize South Africa's public health care system. Citizen journalists are based at all nine NHI pilot districts, as well as districts plagued by poor public health service delivery and are themselves public health users. They report on issues faced by fellow public health users. How I usually find stories is I am not very far detached from my community. I am part of them. We are one. I am also a villager from where I report from. So having the same feelings as the people you are reporting on about, it's a good thing because they, they, they also can be able to open up to you to tell you exactly what they are feeling. I've noticed that you cannot help people if you don't know what they want. So through this program, I was able to actually help people because I, through the writing of the stories this way, I happen to know where to help and how to help. Citizen monitoring of government service delivery is becoming popular worldwide as a way of deepening democracy. In August 2013, the South African cabinet approved a national policy aimed at encouraging citizen-based monitoring. The presidency now has an entire unit dedicated to this. The director of this unit addressed Our Health's journalists. The kind of work that you're doing here, citizen journalism, is a very important component of accountability. In addition to writing stories, the Our Health citizen journalists visit their local clinics each month, tablet in hand, to monitor the availability of essential medicines. The results of their stock taking are forwarded to the Department of Health to notify them of any medicine stockouts that need to be addressed. You will be now tasked to take care of a very sensitive issue, medicine. Remember, when we talk of medicine, we talk of people's life. Citizen journalism is active journalism, and the Our Health CJs are activists in their own right. Their stories, published on Health E! News website and at times in mainstream newspapers, have often resulted in direct service delivery action on the part of government and local municipalities, such as waterless communities receiving water tanks. It's not just about writing stories and leaving them. It's about writing stories and taking actions. There are a lot of changes that actually take place after we have covered a story. People are now able to, to, to raise their voices, to say what the problems they are facing, so that it can help them to report the, the issues to the department. I must say I'm seeing a lot of developments. I'm seeing a lot of changes. We are part of solutions. So who would have thought that our influence would actually bring solutions? So like it really grew us. We are now part of organizations back home, part of committees. We are now more involved. You know, we are activists like that. This year, Health E held its inaugural Citizen Journalism Awards to highlight and celebrate the excellent work produced by the CJs. The guest of honor and keynote speaker was none other than Bobo Maja, head of communications for the Department of Health. The essence of citizen journalism upholds the human dignity. It respects the people that you are reporting about. It is, it is, it is that type of journalism that listens before it tells the story. Tona Bay citizen journalist Chilite Tuwane scooped the coveted citizen journalist of the year title for his strong stories and his dedication to following up on issues and building relationships with sources.
Present at the awards were our health's core funders, DG Murray and Making All Voices Count, without whose generous funding, the Our Health project would not be possible. They actually push for service delivery at that level, using media, using their stories, uh, more of the, it's, it's a voice from the community rather than an external person coming in in community to say these are the needs. So you find that it's actually just, uh, the actual citizens that are saying this, this is our needs, this is how we want uh, service delivery to be done when it comes to um, uh, health issues. It's been good working with Health e News. I've enjoyed the tremendous work and watching the citizen journalists actually grow and actually have results. Um, I think that's been phenomenal. The Our Health Project continues to grow in national impact with a number of recent stories being picked up by mainstream newspapers, The Star and The Mercury. The citizen journalists are performing a key role in strengthening South Africa's public health system. They are holding district service providers accountable for conditions at clinics and hospitals and are making sure municipalities improve services that affect the health conditions of the people they serve. Without people like you, there will be no... The notion of participatory democracy is really but a dream. Regard yourself as people who are actually putting participatory democracy in action.